Hi, welcome to this, uh, the tuition part of a daily guitar exercise that is based on um, a typical 1960s blues guitar riff. This is actually the second in a series of exercises. Um, I hope there'll be a whole host of exercises that I hope you will be able to build into your own customizable daily workout. I've already posted the main exercise, which is self-contained and in a play-along format. Um, and I'm posting these traditional videos separately so that you can get any advice you may need without having it interfere with actually getting stuck into the, to the playing of the exercise. So the exercise itself can be used by beginner or intermediate guitarists and I'll also show a variation at the end of this video um, for advanced guitarists, um, an adapted riff um, that makes it slightly harder on the fingers but that you can still play along with the backing. This is the basic riff we're going to be using. I'll just show that in close up. A lot of the um, technique advice um, that applies to this riff also applied to exercise number one which was based on a rock and roll riff. So if you haven't checked out that video, um, take, take a look on my channel. Um, a lot of the advice is transferable to this exercise. Um, but there is, there is one difference um, if we take a look in close up again. Okay, so many of the techniques that you need for this exercise have already been covered with exercise number one. So if you've not checked out that video, uh, go back, take a look at that one. It's based on a 1950s rock and roll riff. Um, the only difference really with this riff is that I'm going to suggest that you flatten your first finger across two strings because we're going to be playing the fifth fret on the sixth string and we're also going to be playing the fifth fret on the fifth string so you can just flatten that finger keep that in place while you spread these fingers out and they're going to be playing on the tips um, that can stay there while you play fifth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, eighth fret, fifth fret fifth fret next string without moving your first finger back to the eighth fret so you can keep that flat saves you having to move and you get that and I'm using alternate up and down strokes for the plectrum. That's where I go to the fifth string, come back on the sixth string. So here we have it again. First finger's flat, still got the fingers spread out one per fret. Don't have to move far. And you get that. Same thing, I move to the next string, so the first finger is now across the fifth and the fourth. So the basic format for this exercise is the same as for exercise number one, the rock and roll riff. Um, we're going to be playing this in a 12 bar format. That basically means that you're going to be playing it four times from the original position. You're going to move up a string and play it twice. You're going to move it back and play it twice. You're going to move up along two frets and up a string. Seventh fret on the fifth string now, once. Fifth fret on the fifth string, once. Original position once. And the one where you moved up two frets on the fifth string once. So it's four times, twice, twice, once, 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 once. In close up that looks like this. So that's four times fifth fret, twice fifth fret on the next string, the fifth string, twice back again, once, 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 once. Quickly one and through it, that'll sound like this. string twice back twice along two frets back two frets original position finish on the one where you moved up four 
times, twice, twice, once, 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 once. Typical 12 bar sequence. So I'm going to refer you back to that first exercise again and I explained in that exercise about keeping your thumb around the back, keeping on the tips of the fingers etc. Um, I should be able to see the back of your hand. I, I said in that video that um, you will see guitar players with, um, with their thumb around the tops when they're getting a lead bridge for string bridge. Um, there's good reason for that, but when you're playing these exercises, you want to keep so that I can see the back of your hand, um, your thumb around the back of the neck, um, somewhere in the middle of the neck. Um, I explained all that in video number one, just done it again. Probably won't be doing it in video number three, so get back and check out these early exercises. So I said earlier on in the video that I'd show you a slightly more advanced version of the riff um, for advanced players and that's simply to use the octave. Um, in this riff you play the 5th fret and then after each other note you go back to that 5th fret. Well instead of going back to the 5th fret if you go to the octave, I'll put this in tab, should be self explanatory from that, um, but you're going to be playing it so I'm going 5th fret octave, 7th fret octave, 8th fret octave back to 8th frets you get and you can put that into a 12 bar format by moving it exactly the same way as um, as you did previously and you will also be able to play along with the back end with that riff but it is a more of a difficult um, procedure with the fingers just kind of crossing over your, your, the second finger's got to go to its abnormal fret Okay, so I hope you get something out of this exercise. Um, go to the main exercise. The link will be in the description or at the end of this video both. Um, and play along. Um, also check out that video number one. Um, um, this is uh, this is at the very start of this channel. I've not got a lot of subscribers, so um, I don't earn any money out of it. I'm learning as I'm going. Um, I'm sure I'll get better. Um, we can only hope so. Um, but in the meantime, please leave any comments and subscribe and you'll get notified of future videos as they come out. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be great.